Hello everybody, welcome to the start of a brand new series. This is Just Ignore Them, a game by Stranga or Stranger. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. Uh, published by Grab the Games. Um, what is this game about? One night can feel like a lifetime of pain, suffering, and horror to a child. Do you have what it takes to survive the night? Play as an eight year old child who is surrounded by a monster in his house. Your choices make us future which lives can be saved or ended. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a strong different point and click adventure. Your choices matter for the outcome. Um, again, um, well, not again, but for this one, I am going to have to put out a warning. There is apparently quite a lot of graphical graphic material on this, uh, by that I mean violence, gore, that other adult topic. So at this point you have been warned if you continue watching and get bad dreams, um, it's on you. Uh, I'm going into this one blind, naturally. Um, let's see what we can get. So up a new game. Get between scenes of graphic and disturbing nature as well as inappropriate language. Told you. Hello there. Before we start my story, I would like to go over some things first. In tutorial, movement, yeah. To interact with something, use left mouse button. Look at something, use right mouse button. Okay. Scroll your mouse to the top of the screen to check your inventory, access the game settings, and save the game. Alright. Now back to my story. I was eight when it first happened. But it's not to say this had happened before, just this night was different. They would normally take they would normally talk to me, play with me, and sometimes sing to me. But the one thing I remember the most, their faces. Right here we are then, I guess. Just really put them a gasp. My spaceship that I lost you. Toy robot. It's not working though, it has no batteries, but this will help me sleep. All right? It's an old mouse. I always wondered about those. Those aren't real, are they? You see them in cartoons and stuff, but. I haven't heard my since mommy hired that exterminator guy. You ever like that titty? It moves on its own. Hmm. It's my creepy titty. 7pm. <laughs> I like the green glow. It helps me sleep. Really? I need darkness when I want to go to sleep. But anyway, I'm not a kid. I love watching my favorite show, Dinosaur Bus. Okay. Mom said I shouldn't watch TV before I go to bed. Yes, your eyes will fall out. He said it will give me bad dreams. Well, you're not watching TV and you're probably still going to get them. Yeah, that's our closet. There's a monster that lives in there. Mom said it's not real, but I've seen it and it doesn't like my flashlight. There's a monster that lives in there too. He never really comes out. I think it hates Mommy's perfume. We can use mommy's step ladder in the kitchen. Can we just leave or do we have to go to bed? See nothing special about it. Do we have to move to the door before we can do it, or is it just like, ah, well, time to go to bed first and all the bad stuff happen? Number scratched onto this drawer. 840. The drawer is locked though. Why would a child's drawer be locked? Well, guess we're at the bed. Start the first night. Oh, jeez. Please turn off the lights. Okay, my special little guy. You all ready for bed? Remember if you see a monster, just ignore it. I know, Mom. Hmm. 
don't have a mouse cursor, we're not meant to be doing anything. The bear? Ah. What's the first spooky thing? Come on, place your bets, people. Well, well, you really tried to sleep there, didn't you? The closet doesn't do anything. A bed, bouncy castle. Shall we go to bed before mommy comes, alright? So nothing yet. It's kind of odd that they would let you... Wake up without actually having to do anything. So go back to bed again, huh? Right? Can't sleep just yet. So what do you want then? You want me to go outside? Up, oh, it's the TV. TVs can be creepy, I guess. TVs doing that thing again. I can see something. It's a face. Yay! Face in the television. <laughs> Dude's kind of freaking out, isn't he? Let's go with what we're told and we might change things. Yes, just turn it off. We meant to just ignore it, so to turn it off. There we go. She's dead. Ah. <clears throat> Anywho. Um, let's go back to bed again. Can't sleep just yet. Okay, we need to get something else that needs to be done. Closet? No. 7.30, okay. So time is passing. But it's something to do with you, you creepy teddy. Why would uncle give you to me anyway? Probably well, celebrate his new job at that game company. Mom just said just ignore it. There we go. We'll go this way then. <laughs> Should we put him in my spaceship? Okay. Can't sleep just yet. We were supposed to ignore it, so. I guess we don't have the option now. Alright. Mom said just ignore it. Hmm? Or not. And... Is that... Blood? It's seven. So did we just muck up? Do we go back in time? Hmm. See the television kicks back on. Yeah. Something, yeah, the face, right? Mm -hmm. Let's not turn it off. We'll ignore the TV altogether. That's something to do with you, Creepy Teddy, or what Uncle give you. Anyway... So the story can move on. Just ignore them. Just 
7.40 now. Can't sleep just yet. Is there anything else that we can interact with? Oh, I said I should watch TV for... Uh, yeah, it's really just blatantly ignoring the fact that it's on, but maybe the glow of the television will keep me safe? I don't know. Just close the door and go find mommy, don't look inside. Huh. Could have done that in the first place. Well, let's go find mom then. I was only eight back then, I had no idea what I was in for. But nothing could prepare me for that night. Hey, when she locks the door. We need to go find our spare key. So yeah, do keep in mind, um, this is not procedurally generated or anything. So if you like what you're seeing, maybe you should go and play it for yourself before coming back here. Uh, number scratched under the doorknob, 820. Again, or was that 840 or 48? I don't know. Okay, there's something inside, maybe we should. Hmm. Do you know I don't like surprises? Well, I do. Unless they're jump scares. Can't do anything with it. Sure, you can. You can read time. Because broken is always stuck at 3 o'clock. Well, then, yeah, you're probably right. It's between me and mommy. For a self-portrayed photo, that's what mom call, mommy calls it anyway. There's nothing special about it. All right. That phone's gonna ring. Phones always ring in horror games. Can't do anything with it. It's the phone. I'm not allowed to use that unless there's an emergency. You do need it. You need to turn the lights on, man. Guess we go this way. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and number after the beep. We will return your call. The phone machine thing. That's vague enough to work. To check the message. No, you shouldn't. They could take the batteries out of this. I would never know anyway. She never watched TV. Something strange about the TV in my bedroom. To turn it off. You could turn the TV itself. But turn it on, I have to use this remote. The on switch is broken and mom turned on my TV. Why would she, though? That's some bad parenting. If you tell your kids not to watch TV, but then turn the TV on yourself. So I'm guessing this is going to kill me again or something. Let's give it a go. There's a strange book with a red shiny thing on the side. There was that one book that caught my eye. But every time I drew my hand closer, I could hear something whispering in my ear. Wrong time, child. See if we can get ourselves killed again. Just smile on the microwave. So that's probably gonna work. It's kind of gruesome the way you can just kill yourselves here. Well, in theory it's not us doing it, but... Well, you can fit an entire kid into a microwave, though. From mommy, hi honey, just wanted to remind you to make sure you get up early for school. My mirror comic is ten minutes fast. Well that's important. Ten minutes fast, so when it's like it says seven, it's like seven ten. And we also got eight forty as a number to remember. I wonder if you should be writing that stuff down. 
Uh, maybe not yet. Message on the telephone machine, it's mommy. This wasn't the first time I received a message from mom at the late hours. Just the grocery shopping, found your favorite toy in the linen closet upstairs. I left it in there for you. We'll go home soon, okay? Game player, that's vague enough to work. Says the message was left two minutes ago. It's too dark for mom to be shopping. So the linen claws, that's what killed me before. Maybe now that I actually have the message. I can actually do something different. No, okay. So we got some batteries, which means we can get our <coughs> toy to work. Oh, now it just looks into it. <laughs> Sneaky bugger. Better go to bed. No, you wouldn't. Did he mention something that didn't work because we didn't have any batteries? Like, can we check our inventory? Toy robot. Okay, the batteries fit. Now we have a powered toy robot. Not sure what I should be doing with it though. Mm, what can we use a screwdriver for? Need to find our spare key. Which was where, though? Can we go to the back door? Pretty sure the spare key is not going to be outside, but no. Yeah. You don't lock, they better stay inside. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, maybe a good idea. That's my nice phone book. Check everything in these games, right? So the mommy live in their smelly things. Okay. Message? No. <clears throat> it's blinking away, so I thought maybe something new happened. Hmm. Hmm. Where would we find a spare key? Or what would we do with a toy robot? It mentioned the linen closet, but. Maybe we could send a robot in up. Wait, what's this? Lavender scent. Genius. This one was the worst out of them all. I called him Bob. I don't know why, but it was better than his original name. Gee wee. What's this? It's a note written on the back of a postcard. Honey, I hope you enjoyed your birthday at the Robot Bear's Pizza Place. Is that a FNAF reference? 
<sighs> I wish your father couldn't be there, he had to work. I want to write you this note so you would never forget that very special birthday. That was a fun birthday. I remember mommy being sick in the bathroom over the amount of cake she ate. Wait. I know where to spare keys, it's in the bathroom. With a screwdriver. Hmm. Well, um, I think I'm just gonna cut this here for now. So thank you guys for watching. I'm just doing series for free. So support by coming, liking, and or something if you haven't already. And I'm seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.